Misty Hancock, sales queen, all yours. Well, thank you, sir. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Be Connected World on a Thursday night. Here we are. Today's sales tip is about planning. So quick question. Pop your hands up if anyone's seen the Will Smith movie King Richard. King Richard is the father of Serena and Venus Williams, the two tennis stars, right? So it was set from when the girls were like 10 and 12 years old right up until they were 12 and 14 years old. King Richard, the whole way through it, so he's the father of the girls and he was also the lead tennis coach. And um, from the very beginning, everything that he did with training the girls, it was always based off a plan. And so when he would get these uh, great tennis coaches that he was after, they um, and then they would go to coach the girls in different things and say they've got to do these tournaments and these tournaments. Well, then King Richard stepped in. Richard stepped in and said, you yeah, know, they're not going to do that. I've watched girls their age burn out very young and that's not going to happen to mine. So they're going to be girls. They're going to just play and they're going to learn, but they're not going into tournaments. And, of course, all the coaches got very cranky with this and said, I wish you had told me your plan before. I said that I'd coach your girls for free. And he said, it's all part of the plan. Now, what's interesting was his plan for the girls, and he always said this, you know, we have a plan, we have a plan, let's stick to the plan. And he had a board that he would take to training that basically said failure to plan is a plan to fail. And he had a plan for both the girls. So as to how great they would be at tennis, and that was the plan. Venus was always going to be the greatest tennis player, uh, the best tennis player in the world. That's what she's going to be, the best tennis player in the world. Now, it's interesting, when Venus turned 14, she, um, she wanted to join the pro circuit. And in the end, it was her choice. And the dad said, it's your choice. She said, I've got this. We already know the plan. I'm going to be the best in the world. So this is what I want to do. So while she's gone off to play tennis, Serena, who's two years younger, didn't get the choice to play the tennis at the same time because uh, she was two years younger and the dad said, you don't get it because you're only 12. And he said to her, I know it's hard for you to watch your sister go out and play tennis when you're just as good. You have been playing the same as her, 10 coaches, and you're just as good. And it's hard for you to sit on the sidelines and watch only because you're 12. But here's the plan. We're sticking to the plan. The plan is that Venus is going to be the best tennis player in the world. He said, but here's my plan for you. And it's always been like this. You will be considered the greatest tennis player the world has ever seen. And what's interesting is right at the end of the movie, when they have those closing credits and stories about them, um, there was a note that was put in that said that all of King Richard's predictions had come true. But it was never a prediction. It was a plan. And never did he say, this is what I predict about my girls. It was always, this is the plan and we're sticking to plan. And Venus is the number one or was, has been the, um, the best, sorry, the best tennis player in the world. But Serena is considered the greatest tennis player the planet has seen. And what's interesting is the money split. Venus, who's the best tennis player in the world, has earned over $42 million. And Serena, who's considered the greatest tennis player on the planet, over 92 million. So there's a difference between the best in the world and the greatest ever. And um, it's had me think over the last couple of weeks since watching the movie, I can't keep playing on my mind, failing to plan is a plan to fail, failing to plan is a plan to fail. So how can we use this moving forward? This is the time where plans should be made for the next year. So right now, I think we've got Be Connected now and then we've got another one next week. But ultimately, we get to play now. Over the next few weeks, we get to play and relax and go to Christmas and restart again in January. Even um, Olympic coaches, they're hired not to teach the Olympic uh, competitors how to train and how to work hard. They're there to teach them when to rest so that then they can do great things after they've rested, right, and their body's rested. So we get to rest very soon, but we need to have a plan moving forward. So I've been rejigging this whole failure to plan is a plan to fail. And so I'm just going to pop this in the chat box, right? So it comes down to this. What's your plan for 2023? Now, you can all have plans for 2023, but really, 
sales is what tracks our success. Like it or not, you can have the greatest product in the world and if nobody buys it, you're not going to be very successful. It's just that simple. The other thing I know about sales is sales falls behind people. The more people you decide to help, the more sales you'll end up having. And it doesn't matter if you help people for free or for paid, but the more people you help, eventually the more money you'll have. The more money you have, the more you can help out the people around you and everything else, right? So sales works in two ways. It helps the person who buys it because if they don't have your thing, they're not going to be able to get through all of life the right way. And it also helps you, the salesman, because you can keep selling and helping those people, but you get to help yourself, your life, and all the people around you that you want to help as well. So I want you to have a look in the chat box. So underneath failure to plan is a plan to fail. What's your plan for 2023? Here's what I want you to look at. In 2023, my plan is to help how many people with what is it that you sell? So I thought we'd go around. So mine is in 2023, my plan is to help 500 people with group sales classes and coaching sessions. So let's go around and find out what each person's plan is. Joanne Watson, looking at that there, can you just put in the number of people and what that thing is that you plan to sell? Now, if you sell multiple things, pick your most favorite and we'll go around the room. Joanne, your turn. In 2023, my plan is to help 500 people with the Pillar Code 12-week program. Excellent. Lucia. Can't hear you. In 2023, my plan is to help a thousand people with their business. No, with something you sell. With something I sell. You okay. can't achieve your plan if it's not the thing that you sell. And here's okay, the okay, thing, okay. guys. Okay. So it's got to be the thing that you sell because yeah. I'm getting to a point. Yep. Okay, in 2023, my plan is to help uh, 1,500 people with their skincare. Skincare. So what are you selling? Yeah. So what are you selling? Yeah, their skincare. What I'm selling is their skincare, their well, the skin wellness, their their healthy skin. I'm selling healthy skin. No, you're not. What no, am you're I not. selling? You might be selling. Yeah, <laughs> so here's, here it is. You might be selling a cleanser. You might be selling face cream. You might be selling toner. It's something that you sell. Okay. All right. In 2023, my plan is to help 500 people with their... With the thing with, that you sell. With, with, with... Well, I've got 500 Cleanser. That's the with, point, right? With, with, laundry, I'm with, with eco-friendly laundry liquid. There we there go. There you go. There you go, 500 people with eco-friendly laundry. Okay, it's okay, great, okay. right? <laughs> right? See, now you have a goal of how many you're going to help and a target of what you're going to sell. So okay. if you say skincare, that's very vague. And what is the product on the other side? Now you've left it to what whatever the customer decides to buy. Well, how are you going to achieve that goal if you've left mm -hmm. it to someone else to decide for you? Okay. Right. So here's the point. So Mark, um, Mark, Mark, sorry, Phil, I'm just going to ask you, what's your plan? My plan, your plan in 2023 is what? Well, to help a uh, hundred new businesses with a brand new logo. Okay. A hundred businesses with a logo. Do they have to be new or could they be old, but restarting? Yeah, yeah they could be re revamping okay. a logo. Right. Logo, yeah. So a hundred businesses. You yeah. don't have to make it so specific. Just a hundred businesses. I had someone else this morning say, five, I'm going to help 500 clients. It was winning. 500 clients with basically the send out card system. Do they have to be clients or can they be people who end up clients? Right. See, and that's why the word people is so important. Like the, the order of which it is tells us exactly what it is. Notice there that I'm making, say, Lucia. So um, Joanne did it. I did it. I said with my sales training. Joanne said with the pillar code program. Lucia was made, say, pick a product, not a result. 
Mm. A result mm. is harder to come by because it relies on someone else to do the work that you want them to do mm. for themselves. But with the actual thing that you sell, and the interesting thing is the thing that you sell, if you practice saying you're going to sell that thing, you'll end up with the result that you want. So if Lucia said with selling 500, like 500 people with skin cleanser, right, or 500 women who wear makeup with skin cleanser, then she'll end up getting the results she wants. Better skin on 500 women. But if she wants to just help them with better skin, well, that's left up to someone else to decide and it's not her, right? So I want you to have a look at this little idea of, in 2023, my plan is to help pick a number, 500 or more, pick a number of people that you want to help with the actual product that you sell. Lana would be, her plan in 2023 will be to help 500 tradies with their admin assistance. I'd be dead if I help 500 Don't worry about that. You'll have staff. It'll be fine. But the point is... I'm, I'm, yeah, admin no. assistance that's all right <laughs> I was thinking more like 20 that seems doable considering I do end-to-end -end support I literally run their whole business for them I get it so <laughs> it's time let me, consuming. Make, let me make one more point because I'll be watching Jason's having a heart attack over there or asthma attack you know he's like oh my god Misty's run amok all right so here's the other side of it right is there was something you said Lana in regards to doing all the work 20 people versus 500. Dang it. It's just left me. I know it's in regards to all that you do. The truth is, is we don't have 20 people lined up on our door. We don't have 500 lined up on our door. And the help with the admin assistants could be just knowing that they could go to you and ask for help. It doesn't matter. I could always find to... enough people to oh. actually do the work. Where you, lies but... the problem? Where are the 500 people? as well where right. are the five about the number yeah the more you get known the more opportunity you have here's the other thing here was my point 500 is a large number does anyone consider that a large number like quite hefty yeah yeah that's what crazy. i do not work on at all is a reachable an easily reachable goal in regards to if you think of smart goals it's always smart goals should be um attack reachable and obtainable no it should be higher than that or you won't work hard enough to reach it. If we gave Lana the choice of 20 people, she's not going to work hard enough to get it. She'll work hard, but not enough to get 20. You make it 500, she's going to have to work super hard, probably collect the 20 along the way. So we're looking for a goal that's much bigger than that. If you don't reach the 500, that's okay. Part of this plan becomes tracking it. And now tracking is easy, right? Get a piece of paper and start tracking it like this. You get a piece of paper, you write down the numbers, one to 25, you can't find the first sheet, one to 25. And as you collect the customer, you just write them on the list. And then you get another piece and you write it on the list, right? So tracking becomes easy. Now, everything that you talk about with your social media posts, with your elevator pitch, um, presentations, one-to-ones will be that thing that you sell that you've mentioned in your plan versus how many people that you want to help. You will always stick to your plan if you can say exactly how many people you want to help with exactly what it is that you plan on selling next year. And you cannot get off topic. Everything will point towards that. So quickly ask uh, questions, feedback, observations, or take home. Well, I'm a sales guy, so I get excited by this stuff. I could talk, to, you and I could talk for way too long and make not enough money whilst talking. <laughs> you know, there's an entire YouTube channel of Misty doing these, you know. I'm, I'm just reflecting because I've got my, I've got my people list right here. I've got my two whiteboards, all of my numbers. I just... You know, what are they? It's the old saying whatever you don't manage, you can't, whatever you're not measuring, you can't manage, right? What you can't see, you can't do, right? So, yeah. as an example, this one's um, for you, Steve. So, with my book, my next book that I pick up in two days' time, my boys, they're 10 and 12, have been learning to sell. So, they started, they want to sell 100, they start with a sheet of paper, they have to keep writing names on the list. And when they got to over 50, they got the board on the wall. 
right? So then, uh, so they could see it and they've grown yeah. it to 112 already. Oh, so right. once you, when you can see it, you can see the work that you're doing. Yeah, yeah. And so it becomes trackable, but notice nothing can, gets talked about except for the book until you reach the goal. Um, so it became the elevator pitch. It's what they talk about. It's uh, YouTube videos. It's the yeah. same thing. So if you have a plan for 2023, and it's always going to be to help a certain, at least a minimum amount of people with something that you sell, you can't get off topic and you will go towards your plan. And if you don't reach the goal by the end of the year, you'll at least know through tracking what it is that need, you'll be able to see there's something that needs twisting just a little bit for an improvement for the next year and you can improve on it. So with that, that's the end, Jace. Beautiful, Misty, as per normal, absolute gold.